and the Longhorns and Vince Young and a big kid a real big kid at 6'5", 220 now Oklahoma's got a true freshman coming in this year who's 6'7", seven two and a quarter who can throw the football a young man from California so they've got a 6'5", 220 redshirt freshman Vince Young for the Longhorns he would start for most programs it's well, that tough here out of Madison High School in Houston you know uh, Missouri's got a young quarterback Brad Smith that had a tremendous freshman year Vince Young reminds me of Brad Smith, a bigger Brad Smith. This kid's 6'4". Brad Smith's about 6'2". He has got the ability to move and run like Brad Smith, and he's got a very, very strong arm. Vince Young is trying. He's going to make a push to get some playing time here now. In the eye, Selvin Young, the tailback, and Vince Young out of the edge, displaying what you were Whoa. just talking about. There he goes. Slick. For about eight, almost nine, effortlessly. Man, he makes you hold your breath, well, doesn't he? Well, what I said to, to Mac yesterday, I said, how do you recruit quarterbacks around here when you've got a guy like Young waiting? 6'5", 225, and can run like a deer. I mean, that should be illegal. You know, he does he look like Brad Smith, though? I mean, I'm not kidding you. You look at him and look at his stature and see if he's as cool, calm, and collected as Brad Smith. We saw Brad Smith against Oklahoma light it up last year. Second and a yard. So this young man has the opportunity to play a couple of years, start a couple of years. And there is Allen for the first down. Or Will Matthews, rather, for the first down. Now, what about these numbers for Vince Young? His senior year at Madison High School in Houston, he threw for 35 touchdowns. And all he did was run for another 24 scores. Well, you imagine that kid in the huddle as a quarterback in high school is a man amongst boys. I mean, everybody that played against him in high school said, yeah, 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 I played against that dude. He's a legend. I mean, look at him. He's as big as all the offensive linemen. He comes up to the line of scrimmage, and he stands tall in that pocket. He looks like an NBA power forward, Joel. And you know how many kids in the Houston area that didn't play against him that have now said they did? Oh, absolutely. I hit him. I took him down. First <laughs> Well, it wasn't going to be a quarterback draw, but he shows you his elusiveness down the sideline with a stiff arm to a smaller defensive back. And a flag at the end of the play. I got a feeling that stiff arm's going to cost him. Boy, is he smooth, though. My goodness. You talk about it looks so easy to him. It's so effortless. And Mac Brown can't believe it. Mac Brown saying, you're going to flag my quarterback for a stiff arm? And that's exactly good call, Joe. That's exactly what they're going to do. And Mac's in disbelief. Yeah, Mac saying, you know, he hit him in the face mask because he's 6'5", and the guy, he hits about 5'7". So, you know, he, he's not going to get get on his knees to do it, but, boy, what an athlete. Man, that's all. That's sportsman -like conduct. Look at that. Just the offense. He, he can't help no, it. That guy, that not, guy's, no. That is not a penalty. That guy's a foot shorter than him, so he hit him in the head with the face mask, you know, with the stiff arm. Vince Young can't believe it. I mean, that's, that's ticky-tack. I mean, Roy Williams get called on a ticky-tack running into the punter. That's ticky tack on, on Mr. Young. Right. I call him Mr. Respectfully. That's just a bad call. Yeah. Yep. You know what? That's the second time I've seen it called this weekend. They don't want running backs to stiff arm anymore. They, they must have an emphasis on that. It was talked about in the offseason with the officials because I've seen it called a couple of times that I thought, hmm, I wouldn't call that. These guys, you can't, they can't defend themselves. Now, little fake. There he goes. Into the secondary. Trying to run through a block, and he doesn't quit. He's got a first down. Man. You think 83,000 strong love it? Just a little. Is he special or what? He is instant offense. Instant offense. Man, is he quick. And, and the change of direction. This is a guy 6'5", now long legs. Look at the jackhammer feet and the quick feet and the change of direction. He can long stride, then he can change direction if he wants to. I mean, this guy, this guy can do it all. And we got a, we got a clarification. Young was not penalized for the stiff arm. He was penalized unsportsmanlike conduct for going to the stands and high five and the fans. They called him for unsportsmanlike. Okay, don't show your emotions now. Yeah, right. From the 17, first and 10. What a toss. There goes. Selvin Young, flag on the play, touchdown Texas. Yeah, it's gonna, young to Young. It's going to come back, though. I think they got two and a half minutes into the fourth quarter, and Texas has not had the ball at all. After three quarters, they only had it for 16 minutes well, that's compared good. to 29 because they didn't need their offense on the field. The defense was doing everything. Well, yeah, they, as soon as you score defensive touchdowns, you kick off, and you never get the ball. The defense is back out on the football field. You score on a kickoff return, you kick off. The, de the offense is never out in the field. Now, the quarterback draw all the way. You can see it. A bit of a stumble. Doesn't make any difference. Young into the end zone. Touchdown, 
Longhorns and the first of many in the career of Vince Young. Man, he just ran through two would-be tacklers. Amazing. One of them was a linebacker, Dan White. Another one was the safety, Shabazz. And he just made two guys miss, bounced to the outside. He can go zero to 60 in a heartbeat. And, and when, he, when he takes it up the middle of the football field, a collision, a couple of guys just sheds him, and now it's nobody's going to catch him. You talk about acceleration. He puts the pedal to the metal right now. On the drive, four carries for 55 yards for the young man out of Madison High School in Houston. Quite the debut. Quite the debut. I, I think we said that when we were here with Benson a couple of years ago. <laughs> yeah, really. I, this guy had never taken an NCAA snap. Pretty good. David Pino in for the point after. Give Mangum a break. So all Texas all the time tonight. 52-7 Longhorns. We'll come right back and talk to Frank Solich of Nebraska. Nissan scoring drive for the Longhorns. And Vince Young, well, he was almost all of it. As he scored on a 16-yard quarterback draw where he angled it outside after he was denied inside. Boy, forever young on that drive. The guys that are helping each other, Chance Mock, the starter. Vince Young, the backup redshirt freshman. And this Texas Longhorn program just running along like they have over the last three years with the third best record in Division 1A play. Home Depot best records. Only Miami and Oklahoma better off. 31 and 7 Texas, the first time Texas has ever put together back to back 11 win seasons. Yep. Matt Brown's last two years. The last three years, the number three in the country. Pretty good. Now Young staying on the field and wants to display Whoa. his arm. Whoa. Receiver way behind the defensive back. Taking it in for the Longhorns. Slow Thomas, big time, and he had to wait for it. He beaten his man by half hour. Yeah, but he, he still had that ball in the air over 50 yards, and it had elevation. That's another former Houston High School Player of the Year, just like the one who threw it, Vince Young. Man, and Slow Thomas has got some speed too, but this ball looked like a punt. I mean, it had unbelievable hang time. It's already raining, so it can't bring bring down more rain. But boy, you talk about team speed showing itself once again. Ran right by Spencer Moore. And Young, one for one for, what, 50-plus yards on his first pass, pass of his college career. Nice start, Vince. And they say margin or victory doesn't make any difference anymore in the BCS. Vince Young again. How about it? Second score of the night. That is a thoroughbred. That is a racehorse that can throw the pill. But that's another genetic phenomenon. There's a bunch of them here on this Texas roster. Is he out of spent thrift or Calumet? Man. He is unrealism. <laughs> Chance Mock can't believe it. I mean, Chance Mock's looking at him like, are you serious? Man, he's making it, right now, he's making it look way too easy. And, you know, he's 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 playing. He's, he's, he's pushing for playing well, time right now. Well, he's planting a seed is what he's doing. Absolutely. Instant offense. In for the point after Pino. The reserve behind Dusty Mangum. And a little fade, but a little work. 59 straight points. He believed it to Mexico State. Led early 7-0. Vince Young, the redshirt freshman out of Houston, Madison. He put on uh, quite a show. We'll take a look at uh, some of Vince Young's highlights. A couple of rushing touchdowns plus a long pass. What do you think, Coach? Well, I think he's got great potential. There's no, no question about it. He, uh, he's got great excitement. He's big, he's strong, he's fast, and he is a talented football player. There is a, uh, you know, there's always, there's always a place for him, a guy like him in football. Team. There's no doubt about it. Especially when you're talking about a guy like Vince Young. You're talking about a young man who now has changed all of the press conferences after the game to who's going to now be the starting quarterback because he is very excited. I get energized and energetic when I see a guy like this running the ball. That's tough for an Aggie to say, too. That's right. <laughs> 